You guys gotta release that good energy that's up in there because we all got it. What's good, UBTubies? Back at it again with another muck banger. Just grab Buffalo Wild Wings. I was feeling like getting traditional wings, not that boneless stuff. I just actually finished doing a cardio day and I am super hungry right now to say the least. What did I get from Buffalo Wild Wings? I got 15 wings this time. I got the parm garlic, buffalo, and mild. And I am about to dive into this thing because I need Eat it right now let me see if they threw the yes they threw the ranch in there they gave these these little baby ranches though yeah there we go i forgot to drink my protein shake actually before coming out here but actually i don't need the ranch for the parmesan garlic let me show you guys what i'm looking at i'm working with right there look at all that parm look at all that garlic and that cheese let me show you guys the mild Woo! I like how they do their wet mild sauce. And then I got the buffalo. If you guys haven't tried their buffalo dry, you guys are sleeping on it. That stuff is kind of like cheese. We'll get to that in a second. I did get veggie sticks as well. Celery, carrots. So we got a little bit of everything. I don't know if you guys can see everything right now, but we're about to get busy. So where are we at right now? I got to start with the Parmesan garlic because that's just, that's just how we're going to do it right now. Mmm. And they by far make the best Parmesan garlic a sauce. And this is going to be somewhere around 2,000, low 2,000s calories probably. Probably burnt 1,000 calories in cardio today, so... I actually debated doing fries today, but I ultimately decided not to. And when I'm eating wings, I got more than one flavor. I like to do with like a clockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation or whatever just because it, it changes it up a little bit or if you got fries or celery or whatever throw that in the mix today i actually wasn't really feeling it i put the gloves on it's been a couple weeks since i started boxing and i wasn't really feeling it i know you guys probably get to that point too where the motivation just isn't there like the, the extra mm, that extra push is not there and that's kind of where i was at today so I was originally planning on doing 45 minutes to an hour of just hitting the heavy bag, but I actually uh, only ended up doing about 25, 30 minutes just because it was such low intensity for me. Like, I don't know what it was. Not even the songs could help me. But yeah, I just wasn't feeling it today. You guys, these buffalo chicken wings from B-Dubs actually taste like, I want to say like Cheetos or something. Let me know if you guys have tried this flavor. But I don't know, I really enjoy it because it's dry rub and it, it just tastes like some type of cheese even though it's quote unquote buffalo flavored. It's kind of a unique buffalo flavor. But back to what I was saying, yeah, I just wasn't feeling it today and that's okay, that happens. But when I did get on the treadmill, I was back in my zone again. For some reason, the treadmill, like I said, got in my zone again and was able to knock out an additional about 40 minutes or so of just straight up treadmill jogging. And I really wanted to talk to you guys about just good energy and the good people that are out there in the world. This lemonade right here that I'm drinking, I was actually originally gonna just do carbless today. And I was like, wait, I don't have a drink. I need to get a drink. And I guess the the secret is actually don't buy a drink in advance. Wait until you get to a restaurant to kind of order your drink or whatever because you might get lucky and they might give it to you for free. Good energy. She was just like, eh, I don't feel like ringing it up. And I was like, okay, cool. I mean, we talking about what, a couple dollars for a drink. I was more than happy to pay it, you know? But contrary to popular belief, not everybody in the world is bad. And I'm a big believer in you reap what you sow. You put energy out there, whether it's good or negative, and you're going to get that energy in return. And I just feeling like people have just been doing so much good for me. I'm keeping that same energy, just keeping it as high as I possibly can because I'm just feeling so good lately and I actually was thinking about this lady that I met in the airport flying back from California and was just standing in line I was like in between flights in my layover I was in Atlanta and just sweating my behind off waiting to get Wendy's because that was the only restaurant that looked of interest to me and this lady her name was Miss Miss Liz if you ever find this video Miss Liz thank you so much you are an amazing woman I really do appreciate you know everything it was such a small deed but we were just talking she was telling me how she was probably gonna miss her flight and stuff waiting in the line we were just joking around she ended up telling me her terminal was right next to mine and I was kind of like cool 
you know, just kind of having a little small talk, whatever. And I was like, okay. I told her I'm in T2. I'm about to just get out the line because the line didn't budge. It wasn't moving. I was about to board in like 20 minutes. So I was like, I'll see you later. I get back to my terminal. I'm standing in line waiting, you know. They're supposed to board and then nothing's moving. I look over and I see Miss Liz coming down the terminal. She throws her bag in front of me and bends over and pulls out her Wendy's bag and grabs me and just hands me a double cheeseburger with everything on it. I was like, Miss Liz, I mean, I was like, you you didn't have to do this. Like, you know, I could, I could, I, I was, I'm not like starving or nothing. I just wanted to eat, you know? And she was like, oh, you reminded me of my adopted son or whatever, just because, just because I reminded her, she said I was a nice guy, I reminded her of her son who was around my age. And it was just one of those moments where I was just like, wow, like, I mean, people really just go out of their way to just do nice things. And like, you guys got to release that good energy that's up in there because we all got it, you know? You might want to reconsider all the negative energy you might have thrown into the world or just the negative people that's in your life or the toxic people that's in your life. Sooner or later, they'll they'll be taken out of your life and it's actually a blessing in disguise. And Lately, I've just been feeling real appreciative of just the people in my life, my girlfriend, my friends that I have now that I don't really consider friends and more like brothers. And looking back at it, it was like, wow, you have to really kind of go through this like cleansing phase in your life where you might have had the wrong friends or like just toxic friends. And I was so upset when you know they did the things that they did but then like in hindsight i realized those things needed to happen to realize what good friends or good actual people are because you're like put placing all this value on people that are actually you know just potholes in your life just these people that just are there for the wrong reasons and you learn you end up learning the greatest lesson of all when they they actually get removed from your life you have to go through bad friends to learn what new actual good people friends family are you have to have the bad ones in my opinion to understand what real friends actually are supposed to be like you know that's just my two cents on friendship and it's just a little story that i wanted to kind of share with you guys let you know that we're all the same you know you might think we're all different blah 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 we're really not we really all go through similar struggles as people whether it's losing weight or you know whether you're struggling to find a relationship or boyfriend girlfriend anything like you have to struggle and after you are going through your hard times and stuff you realize there's a bigger purpose for all of it you know drop a like comment if you guys can relate if you just like hearing stuff like that but it's just like man the world really does work in such strange ways it's almost hard to wrap your whole mind around everything they should really call these buffalo wings like dorito wings or something they are so good i'm telling you guys you know what, I might get some cookies later. I don't know what you guys think. But you guys, I really do miss California a lot. I didn't realize how much I actually missed it until I went out there last week and spent a couple days just to kind of go through the motions again. It's like, wow, it's a completely different life out there in L.A. Being here in Indiana is just not ultimately what's going to make me happy. And it almost seems urgent that I get back to California. And they're actually just celebrating the grand opening of the actual state itself. Kind of hard to believe that Ugh. things actually closed down the way they did. But hopefully some good things come of it. Because I don't look at everything as like a negative situation or whatever. There's some great things that came from coronavirus. California is calling my name. This is all I'm going to be eating for right now. I think I'm going to save these what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got about seven, eight wings left. And I think I'm going to save those, eat them in a couple hours. Just going to kind of take it all in. But if you you guys enjoy this content, if you want to see more, you know, just talks like this, stories like this, please let me know in the comments section. Like the video if you want to show some support. And don't forget to hit that bell notification icon if you want to keep seeing more content just like this one. And of course, stay blessed. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.